All right, so tonight we have the Legend of Zelda Pro Controller and the Switch carrying case along with the screen protector. Now, I've never actually owned a Switch Pro Controller. I've just basically stuck to the Joy-Cons. I've never really needed a, it doesn't honestly seem that very pro to me. It seems like a standard controller and all they do is label the pro on it. Well, let's check it out. Let's see if it's really a pro controller. Now I'm a huge Zelda fan and I knew when I first saw this controller that I needed to have this desperately. I think the design is beautiful alongside the switch, the case. I think they did a really good job in the designing of all these products and also it kind of gave me an opportunity to you know have a need to buy a pro controller because i've always wanted to try one out again i just didn't think it was that pro of a controller and the price point of it it wasn't too enticing now all you get in the box is this usb c charging cable which i have a ton so that'll probably just stay in the wrapper now here is the controller and wow this controller is actually so sick. It looks so much better in person too. Yeah, this, it like fits so perfectly in my, I've never actually used a pro controller in my entire life. So the back of the controller, I don't know if you can see in camera, it's translucent. So you can actually see through the case in, in the back. Um, you can't really see much. All you see is, I don't know if that's the battery behind it, but that looks so sick. And you know, actually, now that I look at it a little bit closer, the front of it is just slightly translucent as well. It looks like it has a bit of a rubber coating on the actual handles here. It doesn't grip that well. I think if you have sweaty hands, your hands are probably gonna slip a little bit. Now, the main reason why I don't think this is a pro controller is it doesn't have any sort of paddles or triggers to enhance your playing experience with a controller. Now, usually with a pro controller on other platforms such as PlayStation and Xbox, you have those sort of features available, which, you know, kind of justify the price point up to a certain point depending on you know who's using the controller now i see the home button i don't know if i'm going crazy but it it's not even it looks like a little that's weird it doesn't look even on the controller so how do you even turn this thing on yeah the home button looks like it's tilted like slightly to the left which kind of throws off of the entire controller that's actually so disappointing otherwise this is pretty hot this is a sick controller now how do i turn it on i don't know maybe i need to like plug it in or something all right so my girlfriend just said i was talking a little too much trash on this controller but i gotta be honest right obviously i didn't buy this controller to you know be a pro gamer on the switch i bought it because i love zelda i love the design and i want to have this in my collection even with all these like first impression like sort of turnoffs i think this is a fantastic looking controller now one thing my my girlfriend just mentioned to me is to her it doesn't feel like a $90 controller, which now I have to charge it just because it came dead on arrival. Hopefully it's not a defect or something. I, again, I've never used one of these controllers, so I'm just kind of curious. Like, I'll be honest, if it wasn't for Zelda, I, to this day, I probably would still not buy a pro controller. This thing is beautiful though. I love the Triforce right here. I love the little dragon over here by the buttons. I don't know what this is called. Babe, what's a dragon called? You no, know, the one that eats its own tail? Ouroboros. Yeah, the Ouroboros design right here. That's fire. That looks so good. The gold contrasting with the matte black with the darkened black and the white. Oh, this thing is beautiful. Now, do I regret buying this? No, I definitely do not. Again, we're, we're here for Zelda, okay? Now, I'm going to charge this controller because again, it came dead. So I just want to see how it plays. I'm sure it'll play just fine, at least decent. Uh, the buttons are not that clicky. They're very soft to the push, which I mean, $90 guys. Yeah, 90, this, this isn't an elite Xbox controller. Uh, the thumbsticks feel really smooth, actually. They feel really good. Holy, those are really good. The menu buttons, they're clicky, they're not bad. And the paddles and the triggers are super smooth. They're not like clicky at all. They feel good. And the ergonomics in general, I mean, <laughs> it feels a ton better than, you know, actually using the Joy-Cons, but this is fire. I'm actually excited to use it. Now let's move on and unbox the case here, which it's got 
overall the same sort of design as the controller. I think the only thing that kind of differs from all the other products that they released for Tears of the Kingdom is the switch with the green and the gold. That looks so good. They should have added a little bit of green, I think, to the controller and the case. I think that would have, you know, that would have been better, in my opinion. The green just pops off so hard. I love it. But wow, look at this case. This case is gorgeous. It is probably one of my favorite cases alongside the Metroid Dread case. That thing is fire, too. I don't know if you guys are Metroid fans out there, but that case goes hard. And here in the front, it's just kind of like the same design as the controller. And where it differs is right here on the handles. It's got a little bit of a dark, darker sort of gold to it. And, and then the back over here, I don't know what, this is from like the, not the Sheikah, um, it's from like the shrines. You see this on the shrines and stuff like that. That looks really cool, actually. Now let's open it up. What are you saying back there? The Zonai. Is this the Zonai? No, this is not the Zonai. I don't know. This is, well, this is Raru's hand. And then this is Zonai. So yeah, I guess, and here's the Ouroboros. This looks so good. Oh, smells like chemicals. All right, so the padding, not crazy. Uh, how many games? One, two, three, four, five. You can store five games in here. That's fine. I'm, I'm only going to really need one game. And that's Zelda, baby. That's Zelda. How do you close this? Does this go underneath? I think this goes underneath. No, it doesn't. I don't know how this goes. See, I don't know why they got to make these cases so complicated. So let's close it. And boom, your switch fits perfectly. It's super handheld. Oh, I thought this was a little handle. And God, this just looks so fantastic with all of this. This is probably one of the best limited edition drops and I don't even know how long, maybe the Mario releases for uh, Mario Odyssey. I don't know if you guys remember like the red Joy-Cons and all of that, the red Switch. That was awesome. Uh, the Splatoon limited edition, it's pretty good, but it's just not as clean as these. So if you're a fan, pick it up. It's definitely worth it. Um, the price, I mean, it's kind of crazy what you get for $90 here. But I guess if you're playing Zelda, it's not that big of a deal, right? Like, you're not a pro gamer. You're not playing Call of Duty or like Apex Legends. But this is fire. What do you guys think? Is this a cop or a drop? Would you guys buy this? Also, what, what do you guys think about a $90 Switch controller? Like, it's it's crazy. It's beautiful, though. But damn, 90. All right. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Now, guys, I've been grinding Zelda. Not as much as my, as my girlfriend. I've probably clocked in around maybe 50 hours at this point. And um, I just got to I gotta give it to my girl. She's already clocked in probably 80 plus hours. Insane, right? This game has been out, what, 10 days? We've been grinding. Like we literally wake up, we play, we eat, sleep, Zelda. This feels good. It feels super responsive. The buttons feel perfect. Like I'm, yeah, th this controller is fine. Uh, I'm sure you guys want to see what my gear is like. And let me, let me flex on y'all real quick. All right. It's 55,000 rupees. And if you are on TikTok and if you're on Tears of the Kingdom TikTok, then you know how to get that. All right. I'm not going to give you the, the juice in this video. But here's all my gear. Here's my outfits. I don't know why, but I've been like addicted to just collecting these outfits. They're, I love them. I love them. Now, top, top favorite is probably the tunic, like the deaths outfit. <laughs> that, that looks so sick. I dyed it too. I dyed like the, the, you bait in this outfit, you basically dye everything that's white, whatever color you want. So here I did sort of like a creamy yellow, and I think it looks pretty fire. Now I have the Hylian shield, which is supposed to be like the best shield in the entire game. Fire, you gotta have that. Um, got the master sword, you know. <laughs>
you know I had to get the Master Sword. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Got your standard foods. What else? We got like maybe nine or ten hearts and one and a half uh, stamina wheels. We've been grinding. And so far, so good. I don't know if you guys knew this, but my girlfriend told me you can... Hold on, let me show you. You can fuse things to your Master Sword. So here is my Saber Horn, which is one of my strongest items with 44 fused attack power. So hold that, drop, put my Master Sword, and then I'm going to fuse my Master Sword to it. And you see how it glows? It has like a green hue to it. And then it has like writing on it. Shit, it's fire. So now you have the strength of the Master Sword plus 44. This thing is an absolute beast. So if you're fighting, you know, Ganon or something, I'm sure it's going to be pretty good against them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But if you're if you're being chased by the hands around the, the gloom hands, this is good for the gloom hands. So use that. All right. So that there you go. That's it. Oh, does this have gyro gyro the gyro controls? gyro controls okay so this has that as well that's actually cool i didn't know that the pro controllers had i mean that makes sense why would they not have it right there it is zelda tears of the kingdom i got all the swag and yeah it feels good i feel accomplished and i'm happy i got it